How to drive a car with an automatic transmission. Cars with automatic transmissions are very popular for both new and experienced drivers, as they are generally simpler to operate than manual transmissions and can be more comfortable for long trips. Watch this video for more information, and share it with you friends if you like it. Part 1, Preparing to Drive. 1. Get into your car. Unlock the vehicle with a clicker or key and climb into the driver's side. 2. Adjust the car to your needs. Adjust your seat in any direction you are able to. Find necessary so that you can comfortably reach any controls and see well out of windows. 3. Identify the controls. It's essential to find the accelerator and brake pedals, the steering wheel, the gear selector lever, the light controls, the defroster, and the windshield wipers before you begin. 4. Fasten your seat belt. Ensure that you and any passengers in your vehicle are wearing seat belts at all times. Part 2. Operating the vehicle in drive. 1. Start the car. Place your right foot on the brake pedal and push it down, then insert the key and turn it clockwise to start the vehicle. 2. Select your gear. Keep your foot on the brake pedal and shift the gear lever into drive. This gear is marked with a D on the display panel and will be highlighted when you've successfully selected it. 3. Release the parking brake. This is either a lever between the two front seats or a pedal on the far left side of the foot area. There may be a release lever above the lower parking brake or a button to push on the topside model before you can disengage it. 4. Check your surroundings. Look all around the car, including blind spots, to see if there are any moving objects or beings in the vicinity. Make sure to keep your eyes mainly on the direction you're moving. 5. Get your car moving. Slowly release pressure on the brake pedal and the car will start to move slowly. Take your foot off the brake, use the same foot to press the gas pedal gently, and the car will begin to move faster. There is no need to change gears in relation to speed in regular road driving. 6. Turn the steering wheel to turn the car. In drive. Turn it to the left to turn the car left and turn it to the right to turn the car right. 7. Apply the brakes to slow or stop the car. Take your right foot off the accelerator pedal and move it to the brake. Applying gradual pressure so as not to jerk to a halt. When you wish to start again, switch your foot back to the accelerator. 8. Park the car. When you have reached your destination, bring the vehicle to a complete stop by applying gradual pressure to the brake pedal and slide the shift lever back into the p position part 3 operating alternative gears 1 travel in reverse if you need to travel backward make sure the vehicle is at a complete stop before changing gears in or out of reverse slide the gear shift to select the gear marked r and check behind slash around you for any possible obstructions 2 use neutral the neutral gear is only to be used when you have no need to control the speed of your car, not when driving regularly. Examples of this include when idling parked for a short time or when being pushed, towed. 3. Use the lower gears. The gears marked 1, 2, and 3 are known as lower gears. These can work as a sort of in-engine brake system when you need to save your actual brakes. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and share video with your friends.